Hey guys, my name is Kevin Murray. I'm 20 years old, and this is my first YouTube video ever I'm recording in my life. And I wanna revolve this channel around my lifestyle and personal finance. I'm really passionate about investing in the stock market, and I take my philosophy from Warren Buffett and financial education. Also, I kinda of see life with like a different perspective as a 20 year old. Why not set up my life between my 20s and 30s, building good habits, reading self-development books, learning how to invest, and growing different streams of passive income right now. And what I observed, most people aren't doing that. And they're doing other things in their life. And I don't see life working a nine to five job working and doing the same thing at that job for 40 to 50 plus years and then retiring my last 10 to 15 years of life. I kind of see it differently. Why not take the risk in life instead of the safe route? Sure, I'm still going to school just to get a degree in finance. I like finance, I like investing. It's, it's a good mesh. I'm still also also a full-time college student, getting good grades, getting straight A's, right? But I have side hustles. When I'm done with my uh, schoolwork, which is my, my first priority, I go, I learn more about the stock market, read up on new companies I wanna invest in, look up on the current news I'm invested in, on the companies in my portfolio, reading 10Ks, reading more spirit, uh, self-development books and really just getting to spiritual, spirituality, which I kind of resonate with. And what you put in into life at an early age is gonna compound later in life. And I wanna be successful, travel the world, and really help my friends and family out in their life too. And I wanna look back at my first video five years from now and see my growth from my from Kevin at 20 years old to beyond when you change your beliefs you change your reality you can't think of something and just manifest it like what kind of like the seeker was trying to portray you gotta actually take action within yourself to do it Stop making excuses and just do it. Kind of just, I'm gonna end my spiel and I'm just gonna talk about my clickbait title. How I spent $3,000 on shoes. Here we go guys and this is gonna be my uh, sneaker collection. Kind of let's start with like the sh Um, Got some Kyrie basketball shoes, the friends ones I never really wear when I used to play uh, pick up basketball uh, back like a year ago and I haven't worn these. Still dead stock. Uh, I got, found these. I used to be a thrifter and used to found, find some gems at Plato's Closet. Found these for 40 bucks, real. They are the flu game 12s, Jordan 12s. Have some uh, Sperry boat shoes when I go out. Uh, got these these Jordans at my first sneaker con back 2015, 2016, Chicago. They're called the Sport Blue Threes. I think got these for around a hundred, hundred fifty. Kind of let's keep going. Checkered vans, basic. Got, got the OG two point I think Ultra Boost when Ultra Boost were very hype and the trend of Boost, very comfy. Kind of let's get to the more hype stuff.
human races. Come on. You gotta know who what these are. Very clean. Haven't really worn them anymore because I'm not really materialistic. But I just keep them as a collection. Have these multicolored 2.0 Ultra Boosts. I kind of wear these as my daily beater. Then at work, these are my beater too, beaters too. My 3.0 Triple Black Ultra Boost. Kind of, you got to rock them. They're very comfy. That's why. Kind of getting to more hype stuff. Ultra Boost. The mid tops. They're called, if I'm not mistaken, um, the Ultra Boost Aspen Edition. Very clean. Kind of, every hype piece has the Yeezys. The Zebra Yeezys. Spent. Yeah. Probably spent like around $500, 550 on these. These were like my first purchases. Like my first ever like big purchase on shoes. On GOAT. And then we got Oreo Ultra Boost. What are these? The just Nike running shoes. Good for flat feet. They are called. Let's see. I'm not really sure. Prom. Prom dress shoes from senior year. That was like two years ago. Kind of last but not least. But. Uh, the Chuck Taylors, Converse, the CDG, the Heart. I have the black ones too, but my friends are my friends using them. I'm back yet, but kind of looking back at it, all these shoe purchases were my senior year of high school when I spent my whole paycheck on shoes. And never saved. And after high school, I kind of grew out of the hypey stage. And just found the stock market, personal development. Just really got into like, just really just improving myself as a person. With like fitness, mindsetting, vision boards, and maxi. Uh, thank you for watching. Like and comment down below. And thank you.